Okay, so things that can change the position of an equilibrium. We should know this from GCSE, but just a quick reminder, okay? Heat, so here's an exothermic reaction, okay? Reactant stands a product and it gives off lots of heat. If we do this, or we heat up this equilibrium, not surprising we're helping the endothermic room. So this reaction, if we heat it up, if, we, if the temperature's gonna go up, we are going to find that the equilibrium position will lie further to the left because we're aiding the endothermic room. Similarly, if we cool it down and take away heat, the Chatelier's principle says it will try and minimize the change. So the reactants will turn into products to try and replace the heat if we put the temperature down. Okay, so you can tell whether something's exothermic or endothermic by heating up or cooling it down and seeing what happens to the proportion. And I did that on some of the videos that you saw. Pressure I can't really do in the lab very well. I can do it in a syringe actually, but it doesn't look very good. Um, key one with pressure is it's all about moles of gas. So if you've got a gaseous system where everything's a gas, you can see on this side, this is the harbour process, it's the most famous equilibrium reaction. Um, you've got four moles of gas on this side. There's a one here, but you can't see it. So you've basically got 96 litres of gas, I suppose. Four times 24. Molar, molar gas volumes um, and on this side you've only got 48 litres or two moles of gas right so if you put this under really high pressure and then we do for the harbour process we do it 200 atmospheres this is not surprisingly going to help push it to the side of the least moles a bit like squeezing toothpaste it's going to come out at the end um, here we're going to push the equilibrium position to the right uh, uh, because we are going to end up with less moles of gas because we're putting it under high pressure. Similarly, if we put it under very low pressure, 0.002 atmospheres, obviously, we would try and form more moles of gas to try and replace the pressure that's lost. Yeah? So the Chatelier's principle is all about the, as a, an equilibrium system will try to counteract the change that's put upon it. Two things that you can do, heat and pressure can do that. Now, somebody answers, one that can't. Let's just go to him and listen. Catalysts. Catalysts do not change the position of the equilibrium. Why is this? Well, imagine this. This is an exothermic reaction because the products are lower in energy than the reactants. Here is the normal profile without the catalyst, which I've written here. Notice the arrow points up only for activation of energy because it's always endothermic. And here's the EA if you have a catalyst. Now, if we use a catalyst, notice that we have the same drop in energy for the backward reaction as well as the forward reaction. So therefore, it equally favours both because the activation energy has dropped the same for both the forward and the backward reaction. So therefore, catalysts do not alter the position of equilibrium. What they do do is they get the reaction to go faster so that the, the dynamic equilibrium position will be reached much more quicker.